The Jersey Stakes is next a seven furlong nought to one ten handicap in the SO seven world. Ghost Dazzle for John Morgan, Kyotu Nightmare, Vinnie Gerard, Lekka Hardy, James Shea, Katas Altas, Darren Thompson, Optimistic Affair, Craig Beckwith, Rave Butt, the CDJ League, Strive for Power, and Tycoon Zarine for Satyam Van Helsing, Padre Hogan, China Girl, Alex Cherry, Al Rechina, Pitune for Rod McClure, Melting Odyssey, James Shea, Vogue, Graham Clitterbuck, Master Cush through Grey, Dane, Fair Bayside, Thomas Rogers, Trippy Edition, Ben Benici, and Man M Raider for M McMilk. So 17 this time on the 7 furlong course, and away there you go. And who's going to be the early one to show it? Looks like it could well be Strive for Power and Rave Butler, who are up the centre of the track and on a straight course again, of course. And Trippy Edition's also up there disputing the lead with our Letcher Pick Tune, but nothing all that keen to lead it would seem. And it looks like Rave Butler's going to have to take the lead on, possibly on sufferance. It looks to be being held by the jockey at this stage but he's in the lead Ghost Dazzle is now in second I'll let you pick tune on the far side is in third then comes Tycoon's Irene Melting Odyssey is next looking towards the back Strive for Power is going to have to pass everybody to take this one as they come past the four furlong pole then and Rave Butler is two lengths clear of I'll let you pick tune over on the far rail in second China Girl down nearest to us with Tycoon's Irene Melting Odyssey is also going well the one that's just dropped back and lost its place a bit is Ghost Dazzle but it's Rave Butler who leads by about a length and a half then to Melting Odyssey see Master Cush is running a big race and coming through to challenge now then comes Vogue and Cassas Altas trying to get into it so too's China Girl but Rave Butler passes the two and is still in front from Master Cush in second then comes Vogue Cassas Altas melting on to see our Lichard pick tune and it's still Rave Butler in front then a third on to go now and it's still Rave Butler by two Rave Butler Vogue on the on the far round has been to second then Master Cush Cassas Altas nearest to us finishing well too Ghost Dazzle but it's now Rave Butler's been headed by Vogue over on the far side now this near side Cassas Altas as it's close. Vegan Casas Atlas, another one that is on the nod. Oh, we're getting some close finishes today. Has Darren Thompson taken his third win? He's the only trainer with more than one winner so far, but it looks like Vogue's beaten him. Looks like Vogue's taken it on the far side. So Graham Clutterbuck's favourite magazine. That's what he's named it after. Oh, let's want it. So Vogue for Graham Clutterbuck, a regular reader of that tome, so I'm led to believe. Casas Altas was second for Darren Thompson. Third was Melty Odyssey for James Shea. Man M. Raider for M. McMilk was fourth. That's probably got to be M. McMilk's best performance so far. And Ghost Dazzle for John Morgan was fifth. So get ready for... Graham Clutterbuck on the cover of Vogue next week.